Holy shit. I've just driven into London. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thanks very much for watching. And uh, yeah, so we are in London right now. We are literally around the corner from the Tower of London where me and my girlfriend went for a weekend away. Which was a good time away that was. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, I've never driven to London before and I've only ever heard bad things about coming to London. And uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad getting in. Now we've got to get back out. I have a, there, were, there was a, a moped driver, I was turning right. And um, as I was turning right, he sort of snuck up on the inside, realized my trailer was gonna cut him off and then just went straight onto the pavement without a second thought. I slowed right down to allow him to Get back onto the road if he wanted to but he just he's just stopped and started speaking to some mates of his i suppose but uh yeah so this is going to be interesting hopefully we can get out down here don't actually know if we can or not sat never saying we can so that's good enough for me so what we need to do now is uh, we're heading back to southampton from London. Um, the container that we have on board now is empty. We need to swap it over and get uh, a new one put on for tomorrow. I don't know where it's going. I don't know if it's me delivering it. Ain't got a clue. I don't know if I'm on a night out yet or whether I'm back into the yard. No idea. What I do know is if I am back into the yard, it won't be until like seven, eight o'clock. But never mind. Right, this is going to be a turn in. I need to use both sides up. Let's go. So, yeah, postcode wise, we're in SE1, so South East London. Uh, we're literally just around the corner from the Tower of London, it's just back there a bit more. So we're now heading away from the centre of London, if you like. But, uh, yes, it's definitely an eye-opener. You've got to watch what you're doing, watch where you're going. So I apologise if I'm quiet at any moment, but I don't want to be blocking up traffic lights like this, blocking up yellow hatched lanes, and I don't want to be blocking up junctions either. So bear with me if I am quiet. Yeah, thank you for everyone who has watched my videos so far that's gone up. Typical that they turn red, isn't it? Just as I'm about to go. For the people who have already crossed, there's a cyclo cyclist down my left hand side. Du, du, du. I just had quite an embarrassing moment with a bloke, right? He tipped me. Um, and he, he went to say to say thank you and bye, he sort of he was you know he's gonna put his fist up to say safe, do you know what I mean? So you fist bump him. I went to shake his hand. So when, <laughs> when he went to fist bump me and I went to shake his hand, I ended up grabbing <laughs> his fist <laughs> and shaking it. And it's really, really awkward and really weird. And I feel like a right idiot now. That pike just went straight down the inside. Yeah, I feel quite awkward that I <laughs> grabbed his, uh, his, his fist. So um, yeah, you can tell I'm not from London. I shake people's hand to say bye normally. I don't fist bump him. You're gonna go, go. I did flash you. I'm still a kind and courteous driver, even in London. You're more than welcome, mate. Flashing his hazards at me to say thank you. Because I'm a kind and courteous driver. All right, so we are gonna get in the left lane to allow people to overtake. Yeah, it's not too bad driving in London. I'm not really 
thinking of it as London, to be honest with you. I'm thinking of it as any other city I've driven in. Bristol, Oxford, you know. That's how I'm trying to look at it right now. My boss reckons I will be home tonight. I can't see it happening. I won't be I won't be in the docks until half past four. Maybe twenty past four. So by the time I leave the docks it's probably gonna be gone five. So I'll be in rush hour traffic all the way back, man. Are they having an argument? No. They're laughing. I never cocked up once on the way in. I think I got the right lane every single time. No, no cock ups at all, so to speak. I've got an ambulance coming up on the inside of me now. You'd think they'd know better. Maybe I should be in the left lane. Yeah, the left lane does go straight on. There's an ambulance driver, no blues on, just comes steaming up on the inside. And I realised he couldn't get through. Oh man, is this bus stopping? Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, that ambulance driver knows what he's doing. <laughs> ah, just stays on the bus. Yeah, he's going. I must, look, I must look like like a proper, real newbie to Londoners, because I ain't got a clue. I plan on recording all the way out of London, so I need to get over now anyway, because it's a bus link. Yeah, I plan on recording all the way out of London, just so I'm, I'm safe. I'll have it recorded then, if anything does happen. I'm hoping once I get to the A2, I'll be all right. Yeah, let's overtake these buses. I was actually crapping myself most of the way in. There's a weight limit sign that kept popping up saying 4.0 uh, 4 metres. Uh, and it said eight miles ahead. And then my sat was saying that I needed to go further than eight miles. So on the way down, I was like, crap, am I taking the right way in? Is there a low bridge? And it, my sat-nav shouldn't take me through a low bridge because obviously I've got in all my dimensions and stuff. But it's always in the back of your head whether it's going to be correct. But no, basically, long story short, the bridge was half a mile down the road where I turned off left in the end. So um, but I felt like I was on that bit of road for more than eight miles or coming up to eight miles. And uh, yeah, it worked out in the end. I've done seven and a half miles on that road and then I come off. That bloke is proper old. <laughs> I don't mean that in a nasty way. He just looked like he was quite an old bloke. He's indicating left. He was indicating left behind me, and now he's jumping in. There you go. Peckham. Isn't that where like Only Fools and Horses was? I don't want to rush out of London because I don't want to make any mistakes. I don't want to get in the wrong lane, I don't want to cut anyone up, I don't want to knock anyone off a bike. So I don't want to rush, but at the same time I don't want to be too slow because I've got a schedule to keep to. I've got to get back and get loaded before I run out of time. And we're following signs to the A2, so we should be alright. One thing I have noticed actually, on the way in, driver reaction time seems to be quite slow. I thought because Londoners always drove like proper fast and everything, or so I'm told, that they don't really give a crap about who they cut up and things like that. I always assume that their reaction times would be quite fast. But I'd be, I've been behind many cars on the way down, like red lights, and the lights turn green, and they don't go for a second or two. I'm like, come on. So that is one thing I have noticed. Don't change, don't change, don't change. Thank you. Toys your ass there. Watching that car. I 
That is a bus lane, isn't it? Am I right or am I wrong there? It doesn't... One minute is a bus lane, next minute it isn't. So now it's a bus lane. I'm not putting my Arctic in the bus lane, I get told off. Yeah, so for those of you who haven't been to London or driven in London yourself, hopefully my dash cam footage is going to be quite good and a little bit of like a, an eye opener. Just bear in mind, it's not, although I am fairly centralised, go on mate, put your lane. Although I'm fairly centralised, it's not like I'm bangs dead centre in the middle of London, it's south of the river, just, uh, just below um, Tower of London, and then south east. So, um, yeah, and that's the way we're going out. We're going back out to Dartford on the A2, join onto the M25, and then go around the M25 like that because my boss has told me to go that way. So that's the way I'm going. Do as I am told. That car needs to, down on my right hand side, it needs to move over. Got some beeping horns here. Who's beeping their horn? Got a car on the left. Hopefully he's turning left. Oh, I say, this, this lane comes in. Got a car on the right to try getting in. You can bugger off. Like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna let people in and be kind and courteous, but I'm not gonna let people think they can out accelerate me and get in front of me. I've got places to go to as well, you know. Yeah, I was told that London drivers, to drive in London, you need to uh, drive differently. That's how it was worded. I wouldn't say I'm driving any differently. I'm being nice to drivers who need letting out and letting some drivers cut in but not everyone's going to cut in, especially if you can see them doing it from a distance. You stay there, cyclist. Thank you. Huh. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, so I've got absolutely no idea what I'm doing for the rest of the week. Apparently I was going to be doing B&Q work today, which is Monday, the, what's the date today? 18th. So I was going to be doing B&Q work today, Monday, but um, apparently Sunday they cancelled it, last minute. So uh, I ended up doing this out of the docks instead. And like I said, I, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I know I've got to go back to the docks now and pick up another container. But I don't know if I'm staying out tonight and delivering that container in the morning, coming home back to the yard and delivering it in the morning, or coming back to the yard and dropping it off for someone else to do it in the morning. I don't know yet exactly what's happening. I was going to let that bus out if he didn't. That bus isn't indicating, now it is. And the one in front of him is as well. They all want to leave at the same time. Yeah, so absolutely no idea what I'm doing in the morning. That being said, if I do go back to the yard today, I will be doing more than nine hours, I expect. Driving, that is. I expect I will, will have used up a 10 hour to do that. I've, I've only got five and a half hours left from when I left that place. That car is steaming up in the bus lane. So, is that a taxi? Because I thought any taxis could use bus lanes and cyclists and motorcyclists. You didn't look like a taxi to me. I do need to bear left. At the end of this road by the looks of it. So I am going to get over if that car lets me.
traffic jam ahead between A2 slash A20 Lewisham Way and A2 Neffer Broadway, 7 minutes delay. You will arrive at your destination at 1617. 1617. I made up a few minutes by the looks of it. More people beeping horns. Okay, there's a bus parked there. Now it needs to go. Oh, there's cars parked up ahead anyway. It's really annoying. You pick your lane you need to be in. I need to bear left, so I'm in the left lane, and then buses are stopping. I'll just take up both lanes. Better stop, ain't I? More horns are beeping. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Amber, go. Just being proper mindful for cycles, cyclists, or as I like to call them. No, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Now we need to get over again because that's a bus lane. We need to go straight on. Satna says bare left, but straight on. Dover, middle lane A2, that's what we're in. Look at that motorbike look. Right next to the curb. Is he going? I'm not going because I'll be blocking the lights. It's funny though because you stop and they think they can go, they can cross. I'm only stopping so I don't stop on the lights because that is illegal. Sirens, blue lights, are they coming up? Yeah, they're coming up. Right, so what have we learned about London so far? Lane discipline is non-existent. People don't know how to use lanes. People drive in bus lanes if they're lorries. They drive in bus lanes if they're normal cars. People can't decide what lane they want to stay in. People don't move when there's a gap in front of them and they'd rather sit at a green light and wait a couple of seconds. They cut other people up all the time. And motorbikes at the moment, as far as I can tell, don't give a living crap if, you're wearing, uh, if you've got a trailer on the back and they don't care if it's gonna cut up in front of them. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> but is it hard? Absolutely not. I'm, uh, I was really worried about coming to London, but it's actually all right. As long as you've got your woods about you and you keep an eye out for the bikes and you know, you, pick what lane you need to be in and stay in that lane and only move if you need to move and it's fine do you know what I mean yeah people cut you up and but I've been letting people out they've got nothing to lose do you know what I mean I'm gonna get over to the right hand side lane I just wanted to clear that traffic light before we did yeah so I mean in terms of uh, driving in London it's I'm literally looking at it as if it's another city that I've been driving in like but you can definitely tell that other people, the other drivers, motorists, are driving a little bit, and I don't, and I don't want to be negative here, but they are a little bit of a dickhead. <laughs> Never mind. We, uh, we were stuck in traffic back there for a little bit, but we seem to be on the old move now. We've lost a few minutes in terms of ETA. But uh, we should be all right. Should be absolutely fine. Current ETA is 22 minutes past four. Obviously, I've got to get this taken off and get another one put on. I might need a queue before I get in. I don't know. So we'll have to see. Dirty end? Was that a toilet? I so. Never want to go in the dirty end. 
Right, so we are now out of the London area, if you like. Well, I mean, we're, I suppose we're kind of still in London. We're on the A2 now, heading uh, towards Dartford. 50 mile an hour dual carriageway, we're doing 40 at the moment. Come on, go faster, please. I got Van on the left hand side who keeps matching my speed. Clear off. Want these cars to go faster. Just had a phone call from the boss, and this container that I got on me now is empty. I'm not taking it back to Southampton Docks, I've got to take it somewhere else first where they store them and then go to Southampton Docks. So, well, I assume I'm then going to Southampton Docks. I don't actually know for sure yet. All I know at the moment is that I'm going to this other place. I need to give them a call when I get close. So that is what I would do. 113 miles. ETA is still 16.22, so... I don't know if that's good or not, to be honest. <laughs> we will just get there as soon as we can and uh, find out what we're doing. I don't mind staying out tonight. Just would like to know if I am or not, that's all. <laughs> anyway, I'll speak to you guys in a bit and uh, we'll probably be... Well, we'll probably be at the docks, so we'll see. So we've still got about an hour left uh, of driving until we get to Southampton. I found out where I've got to put this container now. We're not going to the docks, we're going somewhere else. And then I think I've got to go to the docks and pick up another one. The sun is setting, as you might be able to tell by my, by my use of sunglasses. And my God, is it bright. There you go. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't see me as well now because I need that down. But yeah, so we're on our way to Southampton. Sun is setting, it's getting dark. And I'll see you guys in a bit. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke so you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. So the situation now is I'm waiting to get the container I got on now taken off. There's a bit of a queue to get in though, which is a bit annoying. It's uh, 20 to 5 now. I've got to go back to the docks to get a container put on. I then make my way up to Bristol and park up as close as I can before I work, run out of working time or driving time. But if I can get home, that'd be nice, but I can't see me getting home. Not tonight, which is very annoying. Never mind, we'll have to see how it goes. See how it goes. Right, so we're finally on our way out. That took forever to get that container taken off of me. Right. <clears throat> so yeah, we've uh well we're definitely on a night out now. I was hoping to get home but it doesn't matter. We're on a night out, extra money at the end of the day. Oh, we've got to get out of here first. So yeah, we've got to make our way to the docks now and uh, pick up a container to go to Bristol. Uh, I'm not 100% sure where in Bristol it's going yet. All I know is Bristol. I've got the, I do know, I have the place where it's going, but I um, I haven't looked at it yet. I'm just more bothered about getting the container on board first and then parking up. I travel towards Bristol area, uh, area and then uh, park up on the way. I can only work until seven minutes past eight is the exact time I've got to be parked up by. And I'll do a printout before I leave the dock so I know how much driving time i got left. But um, I think it's about two hours, 15 minutes of driving time left, something like that. So not an awful lot. But the dock's just there, so we won't be long. Unfortunately, it's now dark, so you, you're not able to see me, which is a bit annoying. But uh, some of you guys have said that you don't mind. You can still hear me, and that's the main thing. You can still see the road. 
so as long as you guys don't mind I'll carry on but if you don't like it then uh, let me know and I won't do it uh, do I have to go there? yeah I do pretty sure I've got to come down here I could have gone straight on. I'll just go straight over the roundabout. It's going to take me to the same place. <coughs> I didn't quite realise that that flyover took me straight. Well, I knew it took you straight across, but I didn't realise it joined on to this road. And I'm used to going in this way. Thank you for keeping it clear. Yeah, I've got to be relatively quick because um, apparently the time to pick this container up is between 4 o'clock and 7 o'clock. So, um, it's, by the time I get there, it's going to be 20 to 6 nearly. So, I've got to try and get out. I think that means I've got to be out by 7. Or we'll try to be out by 7. It depends how long it takes for them to, to load me. If I, get, if I get out of here before 6 o'clock, before 6 o'clock, that I might be able to get home. But that means them doing it in 20 minutes. And when you add the fact that I don't really know what I'm doing yet, with regards to where I've got to go, then uh, makes it unlikely. But we'll see. We will see. I expect it'd be one of those jobs where um, I won't know whether I'm really going home or not or staying out until I get to the M4 and park up. Get to Chieve, I think it'd be Chievely might even be memory services I get to. Yeah, I'll go past Chibli and I'll go past memory as well. So I'm probably going to park up in one of those services. Which is new new for me. I've never actually parked up in a service station before. But um, the only other place I can think of to park, which is free, is um, a place I've parked before, but it's normally ram-packed before 5 o'clock. And considering I probably won't be there till 7 o'clock, yeah. Right, so I'm going to crack on and get this container loaded and I will see you when we are leaving and hopefully we know a little bit more as to what we're doing. Right, okay, sit rep. It took absolute ages. Hang on. 21.19 if I carry on, yes. Right, how many hours is that going to take? One hour, 40. Oh, it took absolutely ages to get that container taken off and then it took absolutely ages again to get the new one put on but we're loaded we're going to bristol we're on the a34 because we've just run out of time well we haven't but i just need to park up i've done eight hours 44 minutes worth of driving so i, I wanted to not go over nine hours so that's good i've now got 10 hours to play with and then um i started at 507 this morning and just clocked off at um uh, 7.37 so that's 5, 6, 7, 12, 12 and a half no five, 14 and a half yeah 14 and a half hours shift so 14 and a half hours done um, you can tell it's been a long day because I can't think of what I'm trying to say 14 and a half hours done today uh, started at uh, 5.07, finishing now at 13, uh, 19.37, so I'm just going to write it down. Uh, there we go. And um, we're going to have a nine hour break and then crack on again first thing in the morning. So it's going to take an hour and 40 minutes to get there. I've got to be there at quarter past six, uh, which means I need to leave by, hang on, if it's going to take an hour and 40 minutes, quarter past six, quarter past five, that'll be an hour and then another 40 minutes. So... My mind has gone completely blank. Half past four, half past five. I need to leave pretty much around about half past five. However, because it's uh, 20 to seven, give or take, and then 20 to eight, give or take, we're going to have a nine hour rest. 29, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20 to five. So I can't actually leave until 20 to five in the morning. If you get that, then well done. I'm not sure I get it right now. I need to have a break. I need to go to bed and then see you all in the morning because uh, I'm knackered <laughs> so I'll see you in the morning and hopefully I can tell you a little bit more about what's happened good night 
Morning everybody, right so we are now in Bristol, we managed to stay on the A34 overnight in that lay-by. Uh, we had a nine hour rest and our tackle card was back in about 20 to 5. So um, yeah, we we're uh, on the limit as to hours worked and time off, <laughs> but we'll be alright. We're literally just around the corner now from where we need to be. I've had a look at the map and I think I know where I've got to go, so I park up outside probably and then go, go and double check that is the right place but i can see a shutter which i probably need to reverse up to but we will see we will see the problem with parking in a lay-by uh docks uh, both docks use both lanes yeah the problem with parking in a lay-by is that um if it's too close to the road every time a lorry goes past you um the cab rocks. So, zoom. Now he's got a cabin on as well. What's the chances of him going to exactly the same place I'm going to? Hopefully not. Come on. Put your foot down. It must be very heavy. Now there's a sign back there that said for docks use both lanes, so that's what I'm doing. Even though this lane doesn't actually say docks on, I'm still using it. But I probably need to start indicating. That lane. You're just going to sit down next to me, aren't you? So, had you let me in earlier, mate, you wouldn't be blocked up right now. Never mind. That sign back there said use both lanes for the docks, so that's what I did. And uh, turns out it's the wrong lane. Never mind. Not the end of the world. Where's your lights, mate? You got no brake lights on the back. Oh, there we go. His lights are on. Now they're off. <laughs> That's dangerous, man. You got no lights on that. Right, we're pretty much here now. I want to let him know he's got no lights on the back. So this roundabout, we're taking the second exit. Portbury West. Man, he's smoking. Second exit, second exit. Well, the good news is that other port cabin is not going where I'm going. <clears throat> and then we want to turn right here. Oh, it's a bit bumpy. Good to know, could park here if I, uh, if I got in here earlier. To me, I think I've got to go in here. Right, I'm just going to find out where I'm going and uh, get in the right place. See you later. Right, so we are on the bay and um, a couple of things I wished I um, checked before I handed my keys in because they wanted the keys. Now I've got no keys for the lorry. 
uh, I used up all my air getting into the bay, so I've got no air, which means I can't adjust my steering wheel. My seat's all the way down to the floor. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I wish I uh, charged my uh, tanks up a little bit before I let all the air out because I had to drop the air on the trailer and I also had to lift the air the suspension up on the cab. So, uh, so the trailer sort of, it was too high basically the trailer, so now it's on the bay properly. But yeah, it was a bit, bit of a challenge. I've never reversed onto a bay before and to, he, he said to be fair, it is tight and you're like, you've literally got an inch either side, if that, of the, uh, the bar on the back of the trailer. So you, you literally have to get up a spot on. So um, yeah, never mind. I just said to him, how long are you going to be? I said, I don't mean that in a nasty way. I'm just saying, you know, I'm probably going to go have a sleep. I said, an hour? He goes, I think he booked it for three. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I was like, okay, no worries. Wake me up when you're done. But yeah, he's got my keys. So um, never mind. I had a funny story the other day. A driver handed in his keys. And um, an hour later, he started his engine up, and matey boy was like, "We got your keys. How's your engine on?" He goes, "Oh, I gave you my spare keys." <laughs> so I might have to do that. <laughs> anyway, so the time is um, nearly seven o'clock. We are in Bristol on the bay, getting tipped, and because my steering wheel is in the wrong place, I can't watch TV because my phone won't rest on this bit; it needs to go on that bit. Never mind. Anyway, see you guys in a bit. Well, we were there for for four hours, so quite a long time. I uh, I only went to sleep for half an hour because I didn't want to be asleep when they finished. <laughs> it turns out I could have gone to sleep for a lot longer. I walked down here uh, this morning when it was pitch black. I didn't know where I had to go. Right, so we've got a two hour and nine minute drive ahead of us. Back down to Southampton Docks. Let's get this empty container taken off and a new one put on. But again, I've got no idea if I'm taking the new container to a place today or whether uh, I'm taking it tomorrow. I don't know yet. Lots of traffic here. So uh, yeah, we're just, we're just gonna have to wait and find out. So yeah, speak to you in a bit. Okay, so we're halfway down to the docks now. We're on the M4 currently. Uh, six and a half more miles to do, and then we'll be coming off at Newbury and then going down on the A34. But um, I've just found out what I'm doing, so I've got to go and take this cabin off, get a new cabin put on, then go up to Evesham, which is past where I actually live in Swindon, so I've got to go past Swindon up to Evesham, where I've got to do a trailer swap, and then I'm assuming come back down home, I'm assuming. Uh, it all depends really, because if I've got to wait until the container I'm taking up to be, load, uh, to be tipped first before doing the trailer swap, I'm probably going to want to run out of work in time because I started at 22.5 this morning so I can only work at 22.8 and it's uh, well it's 12 o'clock now and so I've only got seven hours or so I've got an hour to the dock four hours I'd say four and a half hours to get to where I've got to be is it four and a half hours? no four, yeah four and a half hours in total to get down to the docks back up and then down again so it depends on how long I'm in the docks for, really, and how long it's going to take to tip. If I'm in the docks for an hour and, and I'm getting tipped for an hour, then it, I might struggle getting back before half past seven, twenty to eight. So we will see. So I'm going to conclude this video here, uh, as it has been over a couple of days. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. I'm hoping I can get one more video recorded this week um, and uploaded this month. So then there's some over Christmas. But yes, thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you do uh, like the video, then give it a like and subscribe and, and all of that. And don't forget to ring the bell. And there's a bell next to the subscribe thing where if you click it and I upload a video, you get a notification. So yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, until next time, drive safe. Bye-bye.